The Arizona Cardinals beat the Dallas Cowboys 38 to 10 on Monday Night Football. And this was a loss that I thought was obvious and in the making for quite a long time, you know, well before Dak Prescott got hurt. Go watch my season prediction for the Arizona Cardinals. I've been talking about this game for a long, long time. And what's kind of sad is that the Cardinals didn't even play very well, and yet they still dominated this game. So first of all, Dallas had four turnovers, and I don't know. Andy Dalton did not impress me very much. But even more of a concern is that Cowboys running back Ezekiel Elliott fumbled on back-to-back drives, giving really kind of handing the Cardinals two touchdown opportunities in a row. And people got crazy mad at me when I said that Ezekiel Elliott was overpaid. And unfortunately, recently, Ezekiel Elliott's been proving me very much right. Um, He has been paid a lot of money. The dude is not delivering. He keeps turning the ball over. He's got a fumbling problem very clearly this year. And uh, I just, I I got no problem with Zeke, but he's got to play better. It's really getting uh, problematic for the Dallas Cowboys. Now, as I said a second ago, Andy Dalton did not impress me at all. It's one game I do suppose that Andy Dalton could get better as time goes on. He had two interceptions. He should have had three. There was a moment where early on in the game, Jordan Hicks dropped a ball thrown right at him. He just dropped an easy interception. So Andy had two picks, should have had three. He had a miss late in the game where he had Michael Gallup wide open down the right sideline late in the game. Should have been a touchdown. And he simply missed the throw. And I went, dude, Andy Dalton, what? What's going on? I mean, I really, I had higher expectations for Andy Dalton, and he he just did not deliver, in my opinion. It was also kind of weird. There was a shot of him early in the game. It looked like the dude was playing while chewing gum. I've never seen that before. I I guess I tried that at practice one time. It didn't work. Um, I I just thought it was weird. I went, Andy, really gum? What's going on there? Um, and I think you can make an argument, and that the gum thing's silly. I don't care about that really, but. As I watched the game on Monday night, you can make a very strong argument that we saw the value of Dak Prescott get proven on Monday, where, you know, it's worth noting, yeah, the the Cowboys did have a ton of turnovers, even with Dak Prescott, but I've said all year, Dak is not nearly even close to the biggest problem the Cowboys have. You know, I think they need a safety, they need an interior defensive lineman, probably a D-tackle, I guess is what that's technically called um that would really help Demarcus Lawrence by the way they need help in the running game and I'm not a numbers guy but here's a crazy number that kind of blows my mind as I talk about Dak Prescott he's hurt he's out for the rest of the year and Dak Prescott did not play at all in the NFL's week six and yet despite being a game behind everybody else Dak Prescott is still the NFL's leading passer that's unbelievable that's crazy and it shows just how much I, – I, I think yards are a bit overstated to some degree. But the fact that Dak is still down a game – well, I guess down a game and yet still in the lead as the NFL's leading passer, that'll go away very quickly as the weeks go on. But it's wild to me, and it shows to some degree just how valuable he is. Dak Prescott, they have a game without him. They just fall apart. They get their butts kicked. They get embarrassed horribly. And again, the Cardinals didn't even play very well. And the Cardinals won the game walking away. So Kyler Murray, I I said it before, I I wasn't that impressed with Arizona in this game. You know, Kyler didn't even have 10 completions. The guy was 9 for 24 passing. Now, I guess saying that Arizona didn't play well is a bit weird because they had 261 yards rushing. Kenyon Drake went off. Then 261 yards rushing for a team that is supposed to have an air raid offense. That's wild. That's kind of crazy. And I I guess that it's wrong to say the Cardinals weren't that good. But the Cardinals left a lot of mistakes on film. And I think if the Cardinals want to beat a better team down the road, a team like Seattle, a team like the Rams or the 49ers, they got to play better. They got to clean things up. And for example, where was DeAndre Hopkins on Monday? And I know that DeAndre Hopkins helps the offense, even if he's not catching the ball because he demands attention from the defense. But DeAndre Hopkins was basically a non-factor against the Cowboys. He had two catches for 73 yards. One of them was on, you know, he had one catch for 60 yards at the very end of the game. That helped his numbers a lot. But I, the guy was targeted eight times at two catches. And I just repeatedly went, why is, you know, DeAndre Hopkins and Kyler were not on the same page in this game. 
And I walked away from this game feeling like, wow, the Dallas Cowboys are terrible. Rather than feeling like, yeah, the Cardinals were just impressive and very, very good. So I felt like this was a game where we saw the Cowboys' problems on display. They looked terrible. They were a gigantic mess. Andy had four, you know, two interceptions. They had Ezekiel, Ezekiel Elliott had two fumbles. The Cowboys were a mess rather than, wow, the Cardinals were great. And I, I maintain that the Cardinals are going to need to clean things up down the road if they want to beat a better football team. Uh, and not just beating teams like the Dallas Cowboys, who are apparently just a gigantic, gigantic mess.